Hey there, Rye the Car Guy here, and today I'm going to show you how to get an engine mounted onto an engine stand. So of course you need three main things to make this happen, an engine to mount, an engine stand, and an engine hoist. The general idea is quite simple, right? Lift this up, get some bolts, screw them through, and you're done. The main thing I want to show you though is just how to get the properly sized bolts that are going to fit through your mount and then into the engine without any extra slack. So let's get started. Now I bought this engine stand used on Craigslist to try to save some money. Got it for just 40 bucks. Uh, this one's gonna be designed a little bit differently than the ones you find in stores. Mostly it's uh, these little mounts here. These mounts generally have a little sleeve on them and they're already welded to this mount here. Uh, I just have to make my own sleeves, but other than that, the, uh, the process will be the same. So you'll have four arms. I'm gonna have two installed here in just a minute. And then you just take a bolt, you slide it through this and you screw it into the block where the transmission to engine bolts go in. The main difficulty that comes with this is just making sure you have the properly sized bolt. So I'm gonna show you how I got to the bolt size that I did. To find the length of the bolt we need, we're gonna start by finding the depth of the thread in the block. We can do that pretty easily by taking one of our original bolts and threading it in until it stops. All right, then I'm gonna take a piece of tape and I'm gonna tape the bolt right up against the block. And then just back it out. Then since this is all metric, I'm gonna measure this in centimeters and I just measure from the bottom of the tape to the end of the bolt. And we get right around three centimeters or 30 millimeters. Next you wanna measure your mount. Now I'm just gonna take one of my four arms and normally these have a little sleeve on them, but I had to go make my own since mine didn't come with any. I just took some really beefy half inch conduit, cut it down to size, and then uh, just you know cleaned up the edges. That's going to allow me to keep the engine this far away, of course, when it's on the mount. So I'm gonna grab my ruler and measure this out. I have just about seven centimeters or 70 millimeters. So combine those two numbers and you end up with, of course, an even hundred. So that's what I bought. I went and bought a 10 centimeter or 100 millimeter bolt. So when it's all installed, it's gonna look something like this. This here represents this mount. The blue represents the sleeve I created. And then of course the threads are going to be in the engine. So let's combine all these things and get this mounted. I went ahead and took the mount off of the engine stand because it's gonna be a heck of a lot easier to move this around than it is to move this around. So I have my bolts, my spacers, and well, I have a couple washers, but that's a separate story. So we're gonna grab our first one, slide the bolt through. I'm just gonna start on the top left, doesn't really matter. Slide my spacer on, there we go. And then we're gonna thread this in by hand as much as we can. Got it most of the way here. Then I'm going to very carefully swing it up, do the same thing on the upper right. This one I can't go any further with my fingers, but there's a good amount of threads in there, so we're gonna leave that as is and finish up the bottom ones. Once those are all hand threaded, I'm just going to not use my actual impact. I'm on the lowest setting and just run them in. Probably use the right size, huh? These are 22 millimeter. So we have everything mounted here. I'm gonna tighten these down, the uh, other side of the mount. These are 19 millimeter for me. Obviously it could very well be different for you. There you go, that bell means we're done. <laughs> now that this is connected, we're just gonna take our engine hoist, transfer it over to that, lift it up, and then we just need to put this one peg into that one hole. I'm gonna grab some chassis lube and lube this up just to make it easier to go in. This will of course help it go in a little bit easier, but also when we rotate the engine in the mount, this will definitely help that process as well, especially since I'm doing it alone. All right, I have my engine stand. I have it at the full weight. I'm gonna pull it out just so we have uh, more clearance. And we're just gonna transfer the load leveler from my little strap from my I-beam over to the engine lift. There we go. If you wanna see more information on this lift, check out the upper right-hand corner of the screen where I have a review and an assembly video. All right, there we go, tighten that down. We're at the same height here. Snapped in place, and now I'm just gonna loosen this. 
Well, actually, let's get this up a little bit here. There we go. Excellent. So the weight's been transferred. Looks like it's pinched in here a little bit. There we go. And now, do our final prep on our engine stand. The engine stand has wheels, but, uh, you know, why move it around once it's mounted? So just put it near where you want it to be, and uh, we're just going to lift this and throw it on. Looks pretty good. Ah, push it forward. All right, rotate. There we go. Hey, wow. I'm gonna have to move it a little bit. I wanna level it. We'll have to lift it a little bit more too. There we go. That should do it. Nice. Awesome. I'm gonna cinch this down. It's my little stay. Now we can release our ram nice and slow. There we go, excellent. We're on. I'm just gonna disconnect this for now. Very gently set it on here. I'll take that off in a minute. Let's get this lift out of here. So now that the engine's up on the stand, you are ready to do your work. I hope that this video helped you out. If it did, please go ahead and help me out by scrolling down and clicking that like button. If you want to see more content like this, please go ahead and scroll down and hit subscribe. And if you feel like this video saved you a lot of time or a lot of money, go ahead and scroll down and hit me up with a super thanks using the thanks button down below. Now, if you'll excuse me, uh, I myself and I'm sure you have a lot of work to do. So happy wrenching. See you in the next one.